जय हिंद माय नेम इज विकास आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज सिग्नल ट्रांसमिशन एंड कोडिंग इन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स आर देयर इन दिस व्हेन वी से सिग्नल ट्रांसमिशंस व्हेन आवर डेटा इज बीइंग सेंट ओवर द नेटवर्क फ्रॉम वन नोड टू अनदर नोड्स द डेटा ट्रांसमिशंस हैपेंस and at that as these uh, data transmission is being transmitted in the form of 0 and 1 uh, mm -hmm. one format so we uh, that uh, through the wires uh, at that time the signals has to be generated are there during that the how the data is being transmitted signals are being transmitted using the uh, various mediums like your wireless or uh, wire medium is there here in we will discussing the wire uh, wire medium in which uh, various methods for the signal transmissions uh, and, and encodings are there uh, so the, uh, this is talk uh, these are things that we will discuss uh, in this topic so uh, as they give me uh, data or information can be stored in two ways uh, either analog or digital are there and but uh, if we talk about the computers uh, that in that case uh, that data uh, is has to be in the form of uh, digital format and uh, that has to be represented in the discrete format that is a zero and uh, one format are there in this zero or one uh, we represent the data uh, similarly uh, to the uh, data is there signals is also uh, can be categorized in analog to digital analog and digital uh, format uh, during the transmission of data is there uh, but uh, when we talk about the in computers networks is there uh, this analog signal has to be converted into a digital signals and then that digital signals has to be transmitted or the networks are there and they, generally there are two types of uh, conversion happens uh, in this uh, either digital to digital conversion are there and analog to digital conversion uh, are there during this uh, conversion uh, the analog signals or uh, the digital to digital signals uh, has to be transmitted there are various methods uh, or uh, techniques are there uh, which are being used uh, in order to transmit the data Uh, by using the uh, these uh, signals are there okay so uh, these signals are the, they generally as data is sent in the form of zero ones are there so uh, those datas uh, has to be uh, generate some kind of electrical signals uh, during the transmissions uh, from one node to another node uh, the signals has to be generated are there okay so we will discussing this in this uh, digital to digital conversion in this lecture uh, when we say uh, and uh, encoding or signal transmissions uh, th uh, there must be some mechanism uh, in which uh, whenever the data is being sent uh, from one node to another nodes uh, they these wireless these wire medium or any communication medium is there they must convert into an uh, in the form of signals are there and these signals are generally are called uh, your uh, voltage pulses are there uh, which are being used uh, uh, or or you can say is being used for uh, sending the information over the wire is there. so digital to digital encoding is a representation of digital information by the, by the uh via digital signals are there where binary zero and ones are being generated uh with respect to any data are there uh, by the computer and uh, are translated into a sequence of your voltage pulses are there so th that can be uh, propagate or you can send through transmitted through a wire is there this process is known as a digital to digital encoding are there so this is the uh, data uh is being in uh, represented in the form of zero and one as uh, date computers uh, read those data a any english like text convert has to be converted into a digital format uh, in the form of zero ones now once they are being converted now they are being transmitted to the uh, this uh, digital to digital encoder uh, they uh, once they receive this uh, message is being received by the this encoder 
they will generate an electric pulses like this. Okay, so uh, in this, uh, they will generate a pulses either uh, positive pulses are there, uh, uh, negative pulses are there. Uh, we have to represent these uh, these zero and one according to what kind of uh, methods and coding schemes that we are using uh, in order to uh, transmit the data. So according to that. Uh, uh, whether it is 0 or 1, uh, these signals are being generated by the your encoders are there. So, this is this is a key how the uh, digital to digital encoding happens. Same way we can say okay, analog to digital, uh, in, in that case analog signals are being generated and uh, we have an uh, uh, analog to digital encoders are there which will help the uh, message to be converted into an uh, these signals are there, these uh, dis voltage pulses are there. So, we will, uh, we will focusing on the uh, digital to digital conversion here in this uh, lecture. So, digital to digital encodings uh, are basically uh, categorized into three categories. One is your mm -hmm. unipolar is there, another is polar is there, another is bipolar is there. Okay. So, uh, so in this uh, way, we can uh, use uh, or we can say categorize uh, where the data is being there. Uh, once the data is being transmitted, uh, they either use one of the, these methods are there. Initially, one of the unipolar. Now, the polars and the uh, bipolars are being used in order to transmit the data are there. Okay. So, uh, if you talk about the uh, unipolar is there. Unipolar means uh, uh, digital transmission systems. Uh, which sends the uh, signals or uh, or you can say voltage pulses or the medium link uh, any uh, any communication links like your wire or cables are there so uh, generally uh, they uh, represent the data in the form of zero and one and uh, with respect to zero and one uh, the voltage uh, are being represented uh, means whatever the currents are being there, whether it is zero and or, or ones are there. So either they can represent in the form of positive or negative. So so we have to identify the polarity for each process, which may determine whether uh, the given uh, generated voltage is positive or negative. Are there in unipolar? Uh, there is only uh, one type of polarity is being there. Either uh, the uh, positive pulses being there or uh, negative pulses there. One type polarity is there. So in unipolar encoding, the polarity is assigned to the one binary state is there. Uh, in this, one is being represented by the positive values, and zero is being represented by the zero values. Are there. okay? So uh, means uh, if there is, uh, let's suppose uh, if we have an uh, signals are being transmitted or the period. If one is there, then it is being represented and a positive is there. And if it is zero, then uh, then it will be represented by the uh, represented by the this value. And the, then and so and so on, uh, and so on. So depending upon the uh, what kind of bits are being, uh, what kind of data is being uh, convert uh, is being sent over there. So in this one, one is represented by positive value. Zero is represented by zero value. Is there? <coughs> Uh, uh, in this unipolar uh, encoding, one is considered as a high voltage and zero is considered as a zero voltage. Is there. It means if there is one is uh, encounter uh, in the text message, any message there, so voltage will be in a high is there. If uh, zero is encounter, it means there is no uh, voltage there, so voltage will be no voltage will be generated with respect to zero is there. So uh, as uh, this uh, only represent on the uh, one polarity. Uh, so unipolar encoding is simpler and inexpensive to uh, implement. Are there? But uh, there are certain uh, issues that uh, can be arises with the uh, unipolar. Are there? Like your DC components and synchronization issues there. So uh, in unipolars, uh, the two problems that make uh, these schemes. Uh, less effective or you can say less desirable in this. Uh, the first one is DC components are there. 
uh, when we uh, find out the average amplitude of a unipolar signals, uh, the value would always be a non-zero uh, because of which DC uh, components has been generated earlier. If any medium which cannot handle the D DC components are there, they uh, through which that uh, through that medium uh, the uh, signals which are generated the DC components they cannot be traveled through are there. Okay, so any so signals having the DC component is not able to transmit through the medium which cannot handle the DC components are there. Another problem that can uh, arises with respect to uh, unipolars is there is your synchronization issue is there. When a sig in this, uh, when the signals in, in continuation form uh, are there, so we and whenever the data you send from the sender to the receiver is there, receiver will not identify or or you can say it it, it will not distinguish uh, between the start and finish uh, of each bits are there. So for that, uh, they uh, the receiver has to uh, rely on the timer uh, means uh, at what time they started receiving the data and at what time they will uh, receive the last uh, data are there. So in synchronization, when signal is a constant, the receiver cannot distinguish between the start and finish uh, of the bits are there. For that, receiver has to rely on the timer track the uh, starting of the each bit are so, so due to these two uh, issues uh, with respect to uh, your unipolar uh, th these uh, t kind of encoding scheme is uh, less popular uh, while uh, sending the data from one node to another node are there so or, or you can say uh, in order to generate the signals uh, during the transmissions are there Next is your uh, polar is there. Uh, polar uh, is a kind of encoding uh, where there are uh, two uh, voltage levels are there. One is positive, another is negative is, is there. Uh, in the unipolar, we have an, a positive and the zero is there. But in this case, positive and negative are there. And uh, so by using these two voltage, uh, average voltage level is reduced and DC components problems uh, which is being uh, faced by the uh, unipolar are there is the that uh, DC component encoding scheme is uh, has the less problem or or you can say the scheme is elevated are there so again the polar scheme is uh, further uh, categorized into three categories are there one is NRZ, another is RZ, another is biphase. Here, NRZ means non return to zero is there, is return to zero is there, and the biphase is there. So, non return to zero is another further uh, divide into two categories. One is NRZL, and another is NRZI is there. And uh, biphase is another further divided into two categories. One is Manchester encoding, another is differential Manchester encoding. So, uh, the unipolar is again, uh, sorry, polar is again divided into three categories uh, that is uh, NRZ, uh, RZ, and biphase is there. Let's take one by one these three uh, kind of uh, encodings are there. <coughs> As in name suggests, NRZ is no written zero. Uh, in the non return zero uh, encoding, the level of signals depend on the type of bits uh, are being sent uh, from sender to the receiver. Uh, either it, they are presented in the form of bits of zero and one, are uh, there when the voltage will be positive and negative, respectively. Is there. So, therefore, we can say that level of signal depend upon the state of the bits. Are there. So, depending upon the bits, whether it is one is there, whether it is zero is there. Depending upon that, uh, we say ki we, uh, that if the bit is zero, then the signal will be generated and a positive is there. If the bit is one, then the signal will be the negative with respect to uh, therein uh, NRZ LR there. Okay. So, but in the case of NRZ I is there, uh, which we, uh, which is an inversion of the uh, that uh, other one uh, is an inversion voltage level represented in one bit. Uh, in this uh, kind of encoding, or you can say NRZI encoding, 
स्कीम इज ए ट्रांजिशन अकर्स बिटवीन द पॉजिटिव टू दी नेगेटिव वोल्टेज एंड विच इज रिप्रेजेंट बाय दन बेट इज देयर इन दिस स्कीम जीरो बेट इज रिप्रेजेंट बाय इफ देर इज नो चेंज देन वी से इट इज बींग रिप्रेजेंट बाय दी जीरो बेट इज देयर इफ देर इज अ चेंज इट मीन्स चेंज फ्रॉम द वोल्टेज फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव इज देयर इन दैट के पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव इज देयर in that case we can represent that uh, by the uh, one bit is there that, that is what by one bit is there so these are two types of uh, encoding scheme uh, with respect to no return to zero is there one is nrz ln and other is nrz i is there so this is the way of representing this uh, two schemes are there uh, this is the first one is the nrz uh, ln is there okay so in this uh, as is name suggests uh, that zero is being represented by the your uh, positive and the one is represented by the negative is there so the data is being transmitted as 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 and 0 is there so it can be represent the whenever the signals is being generated uh, voltage uh, are being uh, driven there voltage is there given uh, so uh, If there is a zero is there, then the positive voltage will be generated. If there is a one is being encountered in the data is there, then that will be moved to the negative is there. Once again, next uh, bits is being represented. Uh, if there is uh, one is there, then it will be continue like this. Otherwise, if there is a zero is there, in that case, it will move to the uh, positive states and. Represent in the positive values are there, and if next is zero, then so on are there. So if we again we can encounter uh, one is there, then it will move to the negative, and uh, if uh, uh, as continuously we have the three uh, ones are there, so it will be represented by the negatives there. Then again uh, zero is being encountered, then it is being represented by the zero is there. In this way, this is your and R Z. uh l is there now here in this case n r z i which is the inverse of the uh, other thing is there uh, in this case what they do uh, they have the uh, uh, start with the positive is there and if there is zero but one bit is there then they move to the uh, negative states as uh, negative pulses generated by the ones are there they will continue the negative Till the next one is being generated, so it is say, so uh, NRZ is the inversion of the voltage that level represented by one bit. Uh, in the NRZ I encoding scheme, a transition occurs between the positive and negative voltage that is represented by the one. In this scheme, if there is zero, is there? It means there is no change in, in the uh, voltage. Uh, is there? It means if the if the, it is. Negative, they will continue the negative is there. If they're positive, they will return the positive is there. And if one bit is represented, uh, there is change in this case. So here in this case, uh, uh, we encounter one. So we move to the negative voltage is there. We continue till next is zero. As uh, zero represent no change, we continue with it till another uh, next one is being uh, generated. So. there is change happens in the form of voltage signals are there then continue for the time period again one bit is being uh, arrive so we change the bits uh, voltage signals again to the uh, pulse, uh, pulses to the negative then continue with it again the one we has been arrived so we uh, change the bits again here and if next bit is as, as say is zero is there so we will continue with this so number of changes that happens during the this uh, uh, data transmission is there whenever there is a one bits are being there at that time the change in the uh, voltage pulses are there so there is a uh, so as one to four are there so one two three and four uh, here the four states are being transitions whenever the a uh, one bit is being encountered in this kind of encoding is there other encoding scheme is return to zero 
there must be a signal change for each bit to achieve the synchronization here. Uh, here in this case, uh, we represent these uh, signals in the three uh, values are there, uh, positive, negative and zero is there. Uh, in RZ, return to zero, and code schemes provides the three values, uh, positive voltage, one, negative voltage represent the zero and zero voltage represent the none are there. So, so one, uh, so po for the uh, positive voltage, it will be one is there. For the negative voltage, it will be zero is there. For the zero voltage, there will be none are there. So, uh, in this scheme, uh, halfway through the each intervals, signal return to the zero is there. Uh, in RJ scheme, one bit is represented by the positive to zero and zero is represented by the negative to zero is there. So whenever the bit one bit arises, so uh, it will convert from positive to zero will be there. If zero is being encountered, then it will be negative to zero is there. This is how the uh, this uh, picture representations uh, of the data is being transmitted over here in this case. Okay, so uh, here as it says, uh, if the zero is there, then negative to zero will be uh, there. So here zero is there, then we move to the negative, negative to the zero state here in this case, and then continue. Once the once has been a bit arrived, it will move to the positive to the negative states are there. So here and these uh, transitions are used for the uh, synchronizations are there. So whenever uh, during the uh, in the middle of the transmissions, uh, generally in this return to zero uh, are being used for the synchronization of those bits are there. So one is being uh, uh, return to zero during for the synchronizations are there. Then continue with it. The zero is being encountered, then again to the negative, then again the middle of move to the zero to uh, negative to zero is there, then represent and so on. Are there. So in this case, one, two, three, and four times the transitions happens uh, in, in this case. So there is a disadvantage also there with respect to when uh, it performs two single changes in encoding uh, bit that acquire more bandwidth are because uh, during this uh, time uh, two uh, signals are being changes are there from negative to zero then zero to positive uh, due to that reasons uh, more bandwidth is required in the uh, return to zero another one is biphase is there uh, biphase is an encoding scheme in which signal changes at the middle of bit interval but does not return to the zero is there Biphase encoding implemented two different ways. One is a Manchester and another is differential Manchester. In the Manchester scheme, uh, the change uh, changes the signal to the uh, at the middle of bit interval, but does not return to the zero for any kind of synchronization as compatibly to the return zero RZ is there. So in this Manchester encoding, uh, negative to positive transition rep represented by the uh, one bit is there and uh, positive to negative is represented by the zero is there. Uh, Manchester has the same level of synchronization as the RZ scheme except the two level of amplitudes are there. So this is the way of representing the uh, Manchester is there. This is the representation of the your uh, differential Manchester there. So uh, as it says uh, that it says uh, negative, uh, negative to positive, uh, where, where the transitions represent between the binaries, one is there, uh, and if positive to negative transitions represent zero and uh, zero is there. So positive to negative happens, and if there is one negative to positive is there. Uh, in this case of RZ, first thing is they have to move to the this, then uh, in this fashion is there. But in this case of uh, Manchester encoding, they start with the zero here. Uh, then uh, it moved to the uh, negative is there, then continue with it, then one encounter in the middle for the synchronizations, they move to the uh, positive states uh, and so on, we are represented here. Differential in Manchester is, uh, it changes the signal at the middle of the bit interval for the synchronization, but the presence or absence of transitions at the beginning of interval determined by the bits are there. So transition means binary 0, no transition means uh, binary 1 is there. So in Manchester encoding, two signals changes represent zero and one. Uh, zero and one is uh, represent, uh, and the one signals changes represent, and uh, one is there. So this way, 
the differential Manchester are being represented here. So here one, two, three, four, uh, three times the uh, transitions uh, happens. Uh, presence uh, here presence of uh, transition at the beginning of the bit means zero is there. Uh, another one is bipolar. Uh, is the bipolar scheme so present the three voltage positive, negative, and zero is there. Uh, in this scheme, a scheme zero level represents the binary zero, and one is represented by the alternate positive negative are there. So it means uh, during the uh, transitions, during the transmissions, if there is one is there, the first one is represented as a positive, the next uh, one encounter that will represent a negative uh, passes there, and uh, another one is being encountered that will represent a positive, there, so and so on. That will be a, a way of representing the uh, single star here. Are there okay? So, uh, if the first bit is represented by positive uh, amplitude, the second one is bit represented by the negative voltage, third one is represented by the positive amplitude, so on. Are there. So, this is the way of representing the uh, amplitude in, in the your biphase. Are there. so one positive, another one encountered negative, one positive, another one encountered then negative, are there, and so on. Are there. So, these are the uh, uh, overall. Uh, table uh, where the uh, uh, kind of encoding schemes that happens from digital to digital transmissions are there, uh, what kind of things that they do it and uh, techniques they are doing it and how they do it and what are the advantages and disadvantages uh, with respect to these are there. So these are the uh, line encoding uh, techniques uh, where uh, being written by this, what are the description is there, is being there. And these are the various uh, uh, advantage disadvantages as unipolar easy to implement, but DC and synchronization error that can happen. Polar energy is provide synchronization and uh, they overcome the DC component, but they have if there is long sequence of 0, 1 are there, then they have to look into the time uh, scales are there. They provide synchronization, but it requires more bandwidth is there. Uh, here, this Manchester required the uh, synchronization for self-clocking, but it again it requires more bandwidth are there. Differential, if you talk about it, for synchronization for with the self-clocking is there at, like this, but again it's more complex uh, mechanism for uh, decoding the process are there. Again, in the bipolar, we provide synchronization and, and no DC components are there. More complex encoding and decoding process is being there. So these are the. Uh, Encoding scheme uh, with respect to digital to, to digital transmissions are there. Thank you.